We were told by the Israel critics that they don't have a problem with Israel going after Hamas, but the problem is all the civilians that are getting caught up in this war. Israel responded by saying, we'll do as much as we can to limit non-combatant suffering, but it's going to be very tough because Hamas hides among civilian buildings and the population. Israel has achieved the lowest ratio of combatant to non-combatant deaths in the history of modern urban warfare, but that still didn't satisfy the Israel critics. And you know, I always wondered, I wonder if we could have Hamas on the battlefield where Israel could attack them directly. Would they then, the Israel critics, be silent? Well, I didn't have to wonder anymore because in the last few days, Israel managed to target Hezbollah terrorists directly. They ingeniously laced explosives into old school pages and walkie talkies that only Hezbollah was going to be using because they were trying to avoid Israeli surveillance. It was purchased by Hezbollah. Israel detonated the pages, allowing them to target Hezbollah terrorists directly with minimal civilian casualty. And what did those same Israel critics say in that moment? Did they say, yep, fair game, Israel? No. They said Israel's breaking international law. They said it's outrageous. They said it's a crime. They said it's wrong. Therefore, the lesson could not be clearer. These vicious critics of Israel are not sincere. They're disingenuous, and they only want to see Israel's destruction. Just as we saw a photojournalist for Al Jazeera lamenting Israel's war crimes. Meanwhile, he was imprisoning Israeli hostages himself in Gaza. Israel and supporters of the Jewish people should no longer be intimidated by the shame and smear tactics leveled at Israel. Because Israel's cause is just, and those who are viciously attacking Israel are not interested in humanity. Their agenda is sinister.